Hello, hello, hello. This is Chris Eldritch Pipes. Uh, and today, a rather late review for Jermaine's special Latakia Flake. It's taking me a little while uh, because I was really trying to give this tobacco a chance. No. I'm not even smoking it now. I'm smoking something else. Samuel Garst, Balkan Flake. Um, so, why is it taking so long? Well, I'd like to give a tobacco a chance. Um, and it's not that I hate this tobacco, I don't. I don't hate this tobacco, but it's got issues. Um, it's got presentation issues, it has mechanical issues, it has expectation issues. Alright, so what do I mean? Okay. It's a flake, so it says. And indeed, I'm just going to put that down for a moment. When you do pull it out initially, it is in somewhat large flake form with, I don't know if you can see there, but it's got some bright Virginias, some red Virginias, and some dark black, what you assume to be Latakia. It can't be. Um, but it pretty well crumbles uh, into broken flake pretty quickly. The whole thing. And, um, well, <laughs> you just, I don't know that you are getting, this, the band of Bright Virginias is um, quite large and the band of I think the Red Virginias is quite large and the, what is possibly meant to be Latakia is in the middle in quite a, in a thinnish band. And so when it all breaks up you don't know what you're getting at. You just go and get some bright Virginia in your pipe and nothing else. Is it going to be an equal mix? What is it going to be? Who knows? Different every time. Maybe that would appeal to some people, but uh, not to me. So, when I first smoked it, I was like, um, special Latakia flake. Is there any Latakia in this Latakia flake? Because I can barely detect it. Um, it tastes like, uh, to me, uh, a straight Virginia almost that has been kept in a jar that used to keep a Latakia blend in. That's what it tastes like. Uh, in fact, I thought there'd been some kind of mispacking at first. That's how confused I was. A special Latakia flake, I was expecting you know, a healthy dose of Latakia. So in my second and third tries, and subsequent after that as well, I thought maybe because of this silly broken flake, I'm just not getting the Latakia in, so I was hunting down you know, the black uh, strands, assuming that they must be the Latakia, and yeah. So pop, the, pop those in the, the bowl, and still really struggled to get the Latakia. <clears throat> what can you say? Okay, so the flakes are a mess. Uh, it's also, it's 
a damp tobacco. I mean, the darn thing just went stay lit. I'm not the sort of person that likes to prep my tobacco 20 minutes before I pack a pipe. You know, I pretty much pulled the tobacco out of the packet and I want to smoke it as it is. And if it doesn't do that, then I don't get it. Um, so it's moist. And if you want any hope of just having a relaxing smoke that you don't have to light every two minutes, you're going to have to dry this stuff out. Um, but even if you do dry it out, you're not going to get much lesser gear. I mean, I had to smoke this stuff without smoking anything else for a couple of days before I started to think that I could detect some Latakia in the blend. It's very light. Um, I don't know why it's called special Latakia flake. I mean it just, it should have a different name as, as far as I'm concerned. Something I, I don't know what I would call it. <laughs> Extraordinarily mild English broken flake I don't know I don't know what you call it anyway so what have I done uh, the presentation yeah moist yeah Latakia none detected <laughs> but aside from that taken on its own terms if it was not called special Latakia flake it's called something else. It is a nice, mild smoke. You could just smoke. It's not interesting enough for me. Uh, but it might be a nice mellow one. It might be a good one if you're starting, actually. If you haven't smoked flakes before, maybe this is a good way to go. And if you don't mind drying your tobacco out. You know, if you want to get into that sort of thing, if you've got the patience for that, then go for it. I haven't. So that's, that's that one. That definitely not is not making it into my, <laughs> to my rotation. I don't think I'll be buying any more of that. Smoke, Balkan Flake instead. This one is not... Just, you know, it's not heavy, heavy on the letter here. The flakes are much better presented. The tobacco is blended properly rather than in this sort of like layer style, which works for some things, but it doesn't work for this, I don't think. But that's the way to go for a mild, a milder letter here blend. Yeah. So that's it, that's my review for special, Jermaine's special Latakia Flake. Not a favourite. Um, I thought I'd just talk about, finish off with them, talking about pipe shows in Europe. <laughs> uh, so, this was amusing. You, well, we all know that we've got the British Pipe Show on the 24th of June, uh, which is cool. Um, but then uh, Man O'Brien uh, got in contact with me. Uh, they have Man O'Brien. I get most of my briar from Man O'Brien. They're an Italian supplier, and um, uh, maybe they started last year, but they're they're doing a pipe show, which is great because we need more pipe shows in Europe. Uh, and there's is turning out it looks like it's going to be quite popular and uh, they said hey do you want to come Italian pipe show and I went yeah great when is it and they went uh, it's the 23rd and the 24th of June oh are you joking me <laughs> out of the whole year you have picked the same weekend as the British pipe show so they have 
Um, I don't know, maybe I'll make it on the 23rd. I don't know, I'm trying to think of what I can do. But then, um, amusingly, uh, a another guy uh, from Germany uh, got in contact and said, hey, we've got a, uh, we're doing a new German pipe show. Uh, we just, you know, it's just for handmade pipes, you know, no factory suppliers or anything like that. You, are you interested? I went, of course I'm interested. When is it? Can you guess which weekend they've picked for their German pipe show? It's the 22nd and the 23rd of June. Unbelievable. So, yeah, those runs on the Friday and the Saturday. Man O'Brien's in Italy runs the Saturday and the Sunday, and the British Pipe Show is on the Sunday. Now, I don't know who the god of pipe shows is, but they're having a laugh right now. Someone has to get these guys together and um, work something out. But anyway, I thought that was quite amusing. All right. I'm done for this episode. Um, I'm actually kind of late on the next one. I have to do rush and do the next review of the next tobacco too. So see you guys later. Sweet smokes. Ta-da.